My name is Dean, and I'm an Applications Engineer for Hawkridge Systems. Today, I'm going to be showing you some new additions SolidWorks has made to Weld Mints in 2016. The first few changes are within the Property Manager, the Structural Member feature. The size list is now sorted alphanumerically from the smallest size to the largest to make it easier to work with the library that contains a large number of standard size components. In addition, a recently used subsection appears at the top of the list so you can locate those easily. You can transfer the material properties of a library profile when you use it as a structural member. You can also transfer the material properties of library profiles that have configuration specific materials. Inside the structural member property manager is a new checkbox stating transfer material from profile. When the box is checked on, the material will be added to the weldment group and you can view and edit the material in the cut list menu. In 2015, when you create a structural member, the default naming convention names the feature and body in the cut list structural member one. Now, in 2016, the naming convention is changed to type and size. So in this example, my feature and body will be named rectangular tube, followed by the size. When I expand my cut list, you can see the name of the body is the same as the name of the feature, and the material from the profile is displayed and is editable. The tool tip in the graphics area will also display this new naming convention, but is not linked to the name of the feature or the body. When a derived part is created by using split, save bodies, or mirror components, the file property of total length is now transferred to the part file. So when I create this derived part, open it, convert it to a structural member, and view its cut list properties, the total length is automatically added to the file properties. The final change I'm going to show you is within the end cap feature. New in 2016 is the ability to dynamically adjust the inset distance of an end cap. Previously, you would have to edit the feature to access the inset distance, but now in 2016, you can edit the value with the instant 3D ruler or by manipulating the dimension. So, in this video, I have shown you the changes SolidWorks has made to weld mints in 2016. I have shown you the new organization of the structural member size list, the naming convention for structural members, the total length of derived parts file property transfer, the ability to transfer materials from library profiles, and dynamically adjusting the inset distance of an end cap. If you liked this video, found the information useful, or want to see others like it, please subscribe to our channel.